fish farmers in the house move forward we have to talk whether you are a catfish farmer whether you are a tilapia farmer whether you are doing your own fish farming in an hitting pond uh, in a concrete pond maybe you are using trampoline or even tank pond so far you are a fish farmer move forward we have to talk so um one of the most dangerous and the riskiest thing you do to yourself as a fish farmer is not to know when not to feed your fish what i mean is that it is very very dangerous for you if you don't know when you are not supposed to feed your fish if you don't know when you are not supposed to feed your fish and you feed them at those times three things happen you are wasting your feed you are increasing your cost of production and you are spoiling the water quality of your fish pond and all these three things when we combine it together it results into low productivity poor productivity and eventually loss so on today's episode i'm going to be talking about and showing you and telling you when you are not supposed to feed your fish in order to save yourself from wasting your feed and increasing your cost of production and possibly spoiling your water quality if you because if you feed your fish at this time those fish will end up at the bottom at the bottom base of your pond and they will end up spoiling the water quality in that pond thereby reducing the oxygen penetration or the oxygen content in that water and which makes that water and that pond inhabitable for your fishes and the implication of this is that you end up losing some of those fishes whether by disease or sicknesses or you just find your fishes dying so what are the times what are the times you are not supposed to feed your fish it is not every time you feed your fish the number one time you are not expected you are not supposed to feed your fish is during stocking maybe you just finished stocking your fish you've gotten your juvenile or you just got in your jumbo juvenile and you've just stocked the pond you are not expected to feed them at that point immediately after stocking because they are just as in they've just been through a kind of stress which we call stocking stress you are introducing them to a new environment so you, you are expected to leave them alone for at least 12 to 24 hours after 24 hours you can introduce feed if you feed them at that point they will not eat and that food will go into waste that is the number one time you have to take note and you are not expected feeding is not the next thing just introduce them and leave them alone please the number two time you are not expected to feed your fish uh, is during when the weather condition is very low when the temperature drops drastically as we all know catfishes uh, especially particularly they are cool uh, they are warm-blooded uh, animals and thereby they react to uh, changes in external temperature or in water temperature so and in the tropic particularly in africa particularly uh, whenever there is rain and the temperature tends to drop by maybe like five degrees celsius fishes don't heat at that time so there is no sense in it giving them food because those food will go into waste and you are wasting your money so it is always advisable maybe during rainy period you feed your fishes during the sunrise when the sun is rising don't feed them early in the morning like eight or seven 
Don't feed them at that time. When the sun is up, feed them when the sun is up. So by that, you'll be able to at least save some cost, save some wastage of feed. So the number three time you are not expected to feed your fish is when you notice your fishes are sick. And this is not peculiar or this is not particular only about fish. You can also find this kind of thing in the poultry. When your animals are sick, they tend to stay off feed. So there is no sense giving them the right, the usual quantity at that time or even giving them feed at, at all. You have to find solution to the sickness. Treat them first, then you can introduce feed gradually. So you reduce the rate at which you feed them when they are sick because they stay off food. It's simple logic. They stay off food. So in order not to be wasting your food and spoiling your water, so you are expected to reduce the rate at which you feed your fishes when they are sick. And lastly but not the least, of the time you are not expected to feed your fish is whenever after any routine management practice. Maybe you've just done some partial uh, harvesting of the bigger ones out of the pond and you've disturbed the water. Any activity you've done in your fish pond that warrants you to disturb the water. Maybe you've changed their pond. Maybe you've has harvested some. Maybe you've taken like four or five of them to test, to check their weight in order for you to determine uh, their feeding quantity, the quantity of feed you'll be giving to them to determine the, their feeding uh, ratio. So anytime you've done uh, any routine management practice and you've disturbed the water, just stay away from feeding your fish. Because if you do, they will not hit at that time. They've been stressed. At that point, what they need is to relax. Let the fishes breathe. Let them relax. So uh, with this, I think you've gotten value one way or the other from this video. And I think as for you'll be saving your feed at these times. You will not be just giving them feed anyhow at this time because they will not be eating it. Whether you, and particularly, particularly for, for some of us that we are using tank pond, trampoline pond, and uh, a concrete pond, we have to be very, very, very careful. A uh, hurting pond, when you feed them at that time, at the time you are not supposed to feed them, those feed can decompose at the, pond, at the base of the pond. But if you are using concrete pond, tank pond, or trampoline, they don't decompose. They will form dead and they will reduce and spoil your water for you. They will also spoil water in the hurting pond. But the rate at which the spoilage will occur is even minimal in the hurting pond. So with this, I've come to the end of today's uh, topic. And I hope you got value one way or the other from this video. If you actually got value from this video, kindly give it a like. Share with your friend that are about to go into fish farming or your friend that you know uh, into fish farming for them to have access to information like this so thank you so much for your time and see you on my next video i remember my uncle self lawa see you on the next one